Okay, my dear students, how are you going to solve these problems here? One plano convex, one plano concave. When they are clubbed together, what is going to happen? You all know there is a very, very lengthy process to be solved to solve this type of problems. But you just remember that these type of problems are frequently asked uh, 2019 as well as 2021. 2020 also it is asked. But how can you solve this problem? I'll tell you one small technique to remember this type of problems when plano convex is clubbed with plano concave. Just remember one thing here that uh, you have to find out here focal length is equal to r by delta mu. If you remember this formula, that is more than enough to solve the problem. No need to solve the problem. Just remember this much that f is equal to delta mu. Okay. So f is equal to delta mu. Delta mu is nothing but mu1 minus mu2. That's it. So with this, you have solved problem number two, which is the right side. Uh, that is d is the correct option here. Okay. So how are you going to solve this first problem here? He's asking us to find out the ratio of radius here, the ratio of radius and focal length. Okay. So from this formula, the ratio of radius, first you take R, again F if you take in the denominator, right side it will become mu1 minus mu2. That's it. If you just remember this formula, then you can solve both the problems at a time. So R by F, radius by focal length is going to be mu1 minus mu2. So B is going to be a correct option. Hope you have uh, understood this.